Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I was thinking today we could be painting again another starry night, but this time we'll have some lake, some reflection in it, some mountains. I think this will be fun. Right now I'm just showing you how I did the masking fluid, how I placed masking fluid on the paper. I did actually thought of recording that, but for some reason I did not record it. So right now I'm just showing you the places that I've put that masking fluid. I also tapped in a couple of dots where I will place the lights from the houses. So those are the those blue dots. Same as most of the time when I painted Starry Night, I will be using indigo and this time I will be using indigo from the tube because I do want it to be quite saturated so and quite vibrant so it's easier for me to use the one from the tube because you know that one is creamier easier to pick up if you don't have the one from the tube it doesn't matter you can absolutely use the one you have from the pan and I'm sorry I, I see my camera is just focusing I forgot to put to click the autofocus so it will happen from time to time for it to uh, to focus so it won't happen through uh, all the video but just on some parts of it so I'm sorry I'm really sorry for that I think you can follow the tutorial anyway Way. So first thing I did is prevent the entire paper. Then in the lower part of the sky, I added a little bit of azure to just to give it some blue color. And then starting on the top, I painted in with indigo. And as I said, I'm using quite amount of indigo and quite saturated because I do want to do as less layers as possible. So if you followed any of my previous tutorials before on how to paint starry nights, you probably well noticed the pattern. I, I do it almost always in the same time, in the same way. So this is the way I do it. I do one layer and then on top of it, the, on the first layer, I prevent the paper. And on the second layer, I do not prevent the paper because I don't want my paint to get even more diluted when paint, when using it on the paper, because when, I, when you prevent your paper, you're actually diluting your watercolors twice, once in a pan when you're picking it up and second time on the paper if it's wet. Then I've added a little bit of turquoise blue on to my sky just to add a little bit touch of that greenish color and then with and then in dantheran blue when the paint completely dried I'm painting in those mountains that are the furthest away and I did put the masking fluid in the middle part of it because that's the place where the light will shine so that part will be lightened and will, it will be lighter and the parts on the corner will be darker so that it is also what I'm doing right now I'm painting those parts a little bit darker adding a little bit more pigment and the parts to part towards the middle I'm paint painting slightly lighter. When that dried with neutral black I'm painting in the mountains that are nearest to us and since I did put the masking fluid on the lake and also on the place where the lights on the houses are I'm just painting the entire mountains you know I don't have to worry about that if you don't have the masking fluid well when you do your sketch just try to avoid that part where the lake is and the lights well the lights of course you can't avoid that you can't actually try to leave white spots you know those little white spots when painting that black but you can add that later on with white gouache so don't worry about that and again when the paint completely dried I'm doing a second layer of that black I do want it to be quite dark compared to the sky because you know you can see the the upper part of the sky is also quite dark so I do want the mountains to be dark this is night so uh, after the paint again on the mountains just completely completely dried it has to be so so dry just be careful not to pick up your masking fluid while your paint is still wet because you're gonna rip the paper and you're gonna smudge your paper so not good in any way so when I picked up the masking fluid of course I was left with harsh edges on the place where the masking fluid was. So I'm just trying to slightly pick the paint up and slightly smudge those edges, adding a little bit more of that in Dantheran blue on those parts where the masking fluid was, just the edge of the masking fluid was. And I did plan to do that. Of course, I was aware that those parts will be left harsh those edges will be harsh so I did plan to add a little bit more of the paint in that part because you know even 
the, the that light is just shining some parts are white and some parts are a little bit colored you know some parts do have color in it so i was adding it on the top of the mountain and on some parts also where the where i left that white part and now i'm painting in the lake and i did slightly privet the paper but for privetting i used just a light wash of blue to just to make that entire lake slightly bluish and then in some parts where the reflection is or where the shadow is i've added a little bit more of that blue a little bit more of indigo and then with a script brush with liner brush i'm just adding here and there a couple of places a little bit darker blue again where those shadows are and where the reflection from maybe some hill or some or whatever is on the on the lake right now at the bottom of the lake i'm adding some you know does it just some lines just dotting in some lines to well to mimic the trees that, that there is actually some wood and it was easier for me to do it like that than to try to mask it with a masking fluid that part because you know i i thought well, it was easier just to add on later on those little lines mimicking the trees and right now i'm just topping it a little bit of cadmium yellow medium later on i will be adding a little bit of i think that's cadmium that's cadmium red light and also a little bit of green on those lights just to make them slightly different here and there i don't want to leave them completely white i do want some discoloration in them you know when you look at a city photo or in a distance you can see all sorts of lights a little bit reddish a little bit yellow orange green whatever it's just reflecting something and well they are quite different also i've added a little bit of that yellow and green into my lake because you know the light is also reflecting there so i was adding it to the lake just slight just a couple of lines not to the entire lake just on that right part and right now i'm adding a little bit of neutral black because we have one mountain actually two mountains that are just a little bit behind and those two are a little bit in front and when those lights are is actually where the mountain that is near to us is going over that city or village that is in distance so at the bottom of the those lights i've painted it another line to make an impression that there is that mountain near to us and again when that paint completely dried with a old just an old fizzle bl fizzled brush i've added in a little bit of white gouache topped in onto my sky and you can do this also in a different way you can just use another brush and try to pick up the paint you know because indigo is quite easy paint to lift up so you can also pick it up you don't have to use a white gouache i'm doing it this way i'm used to doing it this way you don't have to use white gouache just try to pick up the paint on your paper and after that i'm using this this is pretty stiff brush to tap in some smaller stars and especially on that part where i did use a white gouache that's the part where i want what i want to be the lightest so i'm adding the most of the stars there and with a round brush i also topped in with white gouache a couple of big stars and this is white gel pen that i'm using right now to add in some shooting stars but if you don't have white gel pen you can of course do that also with a white gouache and with that i'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video i think it was pretty easy you can you can see that it's very easy and i encourage you to try it it's fun and easy you know great practice for a starry night so if you do like it please hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel it would really really mean a lot to me and i hope to see you next time bye